Hello everybody again. Welcome to Decoupaging with Michelle. Um, so this is our part three um, of how to decorate a jar. So tonight we have our, our jar that has its two coats. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's no dark spots. So we're going to be using that shortly. Um, I wanted to show you how to prepare your napkins. So I think on this uh, bank that we're making, I'm going to use this beautiful uh, bee design, which I absolutely love. Um, so as you can see, I've used part of this. This came with um, with four four different designs, or four separate designs. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this this design off. I'm going to go ahead and use this tonight. Um, and then um, this, I think, I believe this is a a, a three ply napkin. So you want to um, pull these apart. Sometimes this is the actually the most challenging part. Uh, I'm gonna gently pull that apart. So there's my two layers I'm gonna discard. I actually keep these and I collect these and then I use them for um, to clean up or clean my brushes or something so I can repurpose those as opposed to just throwing them away. So then we have this design here. And what I wanna do is I'm going to do a um, edging around the side because I don't want these lines to show when I do my bank. So what I do is I have this brush, um, nothing fancy. I like it because it has a small edge here. Um, they do have water brushes as well. I've never gotten one. I, this works for me, so I just kind of use what I have. Um, this little thing here, this is a cap, has a water bottle cap uh, full of water. That's all it is. I just I just find it easier to do that as opposed to dipping my brush in the bottle. So I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet. Oops, throw my brush around. Get my brush a little bit wet there. And I usually dab it on my hand just to get rid of that, that big excess of water. And I'm going to, this is a round design, so I'm just going to kind of go around here. And I'm going to start over here. And I just make a nice round shape here. Kind of take some of that water on my hand. I do this over here, and I kind of just go along the sides there. I'm gonna go along here. I think the most important part of this process is you really just have to have patience. Now, this is just about being mindful in the moment and appreciating what you're doing. So you really can't see it that well, but it does have a wet ring around there. So what I'm gonna do now. Is I'm going to gently pull this apart and I'm going to edge it and I want this frayed edge like that because what this frayed edge here does is it blends really nicely into the white bank the, the white paint of the bank so I'm going to pull this off before it dries too much here I have to go back and there's some parts here I have to re-wet and I'm going to keep pulling around here I like that um, I need to put a little bit more over here on this edge I didn't quite pull enough away from my liking. There. I think that'll be lovely. So we have this design. And I'm going to get my water out of the way here. Because undoubtedly I will spill that. So we have this, uh, the design is now has a soft edging around here. And so my next step that I do in order to put the design uh, Mod Podge onto the jar is I actually use Fancy Fancy Me, a good old bag of long grain white rice. I think I got this bag from the Dollar Tree. Um, literally, I've had it since I began this project. But I like how it holds everything in place. So I can put my jar right here. And then I can push it down and it doesn't roll around on me, which is really important that we don't we don't want our jars to move um, while we're trying to apply it. The next step for me is I'm going to use my Mod Podge. Um, I just use the matte finish. I like how that looks. One of the techniques that I use to store this, you know, because these come in these huge bottles. And when I first started this, I kept getting this film that would form... You, know, you had to clean it out and it'd be really gross and really it was a wasting quite a bit of Mod Podge. So actually what I do, now I'm gonna, first I'm going to mix it and you're not supposed to shake it. So we roll it in our hands just back and forth. 
And then I'm going to take my lid off. And if you notice from my how I store it, is I just have a piece of saran wrap. And I just put it over there. And it it makes it airtight. And for this, this these bottles now, I never have that film that tends to get on there. So that, that works for me. Um, if you have other techniques, love to hear about them. Love to see what other people are doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my design here. And I want to center it the best I can. The nice thing about this is it's a round jar, so we know it's centered that way, but I do want it to be straight up and down. And I'm going to take my Mod Pod brush. I think I got this brush. It is a, it's a, it's a, a plaid Mod Podge brush. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it has been through a lot with me, and it still keeps on going. Um, and I, I just love the way that this allows me to control how I put um, the napkin on. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to hold this up. I think that looks pretty good. And then my next step I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten this up so I have a straight view of this. Um, is you want to hold this in place. So I'm going to hold this in place. I'm going to flip this over. Move my Mod Podge over here. And the, here's the key to this, and I think a lot of people, and I know when I first started, I made this mistake a lot, is putting too much Mod Podge on your jar before you put the napkin on. So really what you want to do is, you know, I just, I, I had a very light amount of Mod Podge on my brush. And I will go back and forth. And the key I have found that works for me is you don't want any, like, puddles or anything thick on here. You want this to be very tacky. If if you have if it's too moist, the napkin gets wet and it will tear and it will bubble. So we have that. I'm gonna put a little more Mod Podge on my brush here. Okay, I've been talking. That's kind of dried up a little bit. I want to make sure that it's tacky, so that my napkin sticks to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, napkin. Again, I'm just reapplying this because this is drying as I'm talking. So, so that's nice and tacky. I'm gonna just lay this over gently and just take my brush, brush up, brush down, and just kind. Of, I kind of go back and forth there, and so that side is all adhered nicely. So no wrinkles in there. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna flip my jar around here, and. Uh, this is the remaining side that has not been Mod Podge. So I'm going to just lay that up there. Put just a very little bit of Mod Podge on my brush. I'll show you this time what I use here. I don't use a lot. You see, I just really kind of dipped it and wiped it off. So I'm going to kind of start here. I kind of estimate where the edge of the napkin is going to end. And then I work my way in. And again, I want to be very careful not to leave any excess or any those big bumps, big piles of Mod Podge. So I'm going to flip this over, gently lay this down here, and then I'm just going to brush this out. And there we have it. I'll put that down there. And there we have it. Pretty simple. I'm not going to go around the edges one more time with my brush. Now here's an important step in this process for these for these jars. Um, I don't ha I usually don't I don't have uh, too many wrinkles when I do this or air bubbles, but I always do this next step. Um, I think it's uh, it's just a nice finishing touch, and that is you want to get your uh, handy dandy saran wrap. You know I fight with a saran wrap. I long for a saran wrap that I don't fight with. It's just a little piece of saran wrap here. And then I'm going to lay this over this, not very tight, but this allows me now to use my thumb or my finger. And I'm just going to, I just go ahead and go around the edges, make sure if there are any wrinkles, I had, I had a little wrinkle there, I'm going to rub that out and just kind of go around the edges here and gently just rub over that. And uh, look at there, absolutely all this. Now if you can see the great thing about this is you can't tell where the napkin begins and the jar begin or the napkin ends and the jar begins. Uh, with the white it blends in really nicely. 
So now what I'm going to do is I have applied this and I'll let this dry for the next 24 hours and tomorrow I'll do my final step which will be to seal it. Um, and the product that I use to seal my, my all my products on my jars um, is this thing called DuraClear. Um, I use the satin. They have all kinds of finishes. I like the way that this looks when it's finished. Um, it just has a, a good a good look to it. So thank you for watching and stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm going to be sealing this and get you uh, part four. Thank you so much.